This is the ballroom, huh? So I'm assuming there were tables in here? Yes, tables and chairs. We were like here, like mingling. Right. Everybody's just mingling and talking, music playing. And out of nowhere, I could hear the children playing, like playing on the playground. In Los Angeles, there's a hotel that my husband and I stay at, and there's a private school behind the hotel. OK. And we stay there, and my husband would always say, I love that sound of innocent children just playing on the playground. Yeah. And out of nowhere, I heard the children. It's just sort of like that, the children were here. I asked a server, where are the children? And they said, there's no children. I said, OK. I'm thinking maybe it was something in the music. I don't know. So I go on, and I ask another server, are there children here anywhere? Mm -hmm. And they say, no, there are no children. We later go outside, and the children were louder. So I said, is there a school around here? There are children. And they said, no children are here. Um, I definitely felt children. When I drove up, I heard children giggling. Age group from about 7 to 12. Mm -hmm. Playing on the playground? They, they were on grass. Looked like a backyard. And when we just walked in this room, I had this overwhelming feeling of the lady of the house. She lived here, and I'm getting her presence in this room so strong. I have a feeling she's in her 20s. I feel like she had a bunch of children herself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like at one point, she lived in this house as a kid. There's something about this house. I love when she walks away from me. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What is it? What is it about what I just said that's triggered you? I'm not. I could hear the children. You hear, you hear them again? Jeez. I've been hearing them all day. What do you hear? I want to see if it's what I hear. OK, like playing. Are they giggling? Yeah. Do you feel this woman, too? No. OK. Mm -mm. I'm scared to feel her. Well, that may be why you are blocking it. I don't know that she's dangerous. I just feel that she's concerned for her kids. She's protective. I feel like they're all family. Like, I see mm -hmm. generations that mm -hmm. lived in this house, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe at some point together. She's saying that her mother had what looks to me like a tribe of children, like maybe 20 or 20 more. Kids? Or more. Okay. And then she's telling me that she lived the longest out of most of her siblings. Maybe 15 to 17 of her siblings did not even make it to adulthood. They passed away. What? She just gave me a vision of sickness. And okay. then I don't feel they had the proper medicine. That's so sad. Those were the kids you heard when you were here for that event. Mary is part of that circle of children playing. And now I can understand why she kept such close tabs on her daughter, that Lulu with the bells, yes, that she yes, didn't want yes, to lose. Yes. 
because to me it looks like she lost so much. She lost her siblings. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to lose her daughter, her child. Yeah. I just asked her, why were you the only one that heard that child play? The way she's showing it, it was like they wanted you to hear them. Could it be because of my childhood that I heard the children? I had to go to church every Sunday <laughs> in my patent leather shoes. <laughs> and we went to a Baptist church, Hill Chapel Baptist Church, every Sunday, Sunday school, and church afterwards with tight shoes on. And uh, yeah. So I feel like today I'm spiritual. I would not say that I'm religious. I'm spiritual. Have you ever heard that? So if there was a death, you go to the funeral and it's raining, right? They say then the person is going to heaven. <laughs> it's all superstitious, all superstitious. They're like, okay, it's raining today. They're going to heaven. So I was invited to a wedding and I could hear children. As the night went on, the children were loud. Nobody heard the kids. And I'm just thinking, there are children somewhere around. But I want to also tell you this. I'm the kind of person, things like this, kind of, I don't believe things like that. You understand? So I continue to kind of blow it off. Like, maybe there are children. Maybe there is children. Maybe they're playing a song with children in the background. Just anything to try to convince myself about children. But. There were children, children. That's all I could think of, there were children. And again, I, n I never believe in ghosts. Um, I never believe in psychics. Um, for me, all of that kind of stuff is sort of like, um, as my husband would say, demon-like. So, I just ended it kind of thinking. I even talked to Greg about it. I said, I heard children there. The kids out playing on the ground is what I heard in my ear. Now, I'm, again, I'm, I don't know how the kids got there. You seem like an extremely rational, intelligent person. So, like, if you say yeah. to me, I heard children, like, yeah. it's not like you're gonna, it's not something you just mm -hmm. kind of think mm -hmm. you hear, right? Like, mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's not anything that I kind of think I hear. I know that I heard children. And I wondered, where, where's the school? Is the school anywhere near? Is there a school up the block that they don't know about, but nobody said there was a school near, near at all? Little children. So, you know, I don't know. But again, I don't believe stuff like that. You know, I don't know if someone ever died there. I just wonder if that stuff is true, that's all. I just kind of wonder if it's true. I'm like, is it is not, you know, I told you that I I um I've been read before. And um I don't know if I totally believed everything they were saying to me, but I just wonder if it's true. 